going to do a one, two, three oh. clap into our mics to make is sure the, that we have a spot to line it up. Is the SD cleared on this? Yeah. We're good? Okay. As much as we can get. I'm glad I dressed up for the podcast. Today. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, uh, you ever, see, you ever see like a promotion for like Pete Holmes's podcast? They look, <laughs> sure he's in a bathroom. They look like especially disheveled. <laughs> like they, they made a point to look worse yeah. than they normally do. So I feel like this is fitting and the weather yes. is yeah. fitting. Yes, yes, I was yes. really hoping that it was going to be like thundering while we recorded. Yeah, so you couldn't hear anything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it would just be ruined. Maybe a man through thunder. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, let's get it. One, make sure you clap towards that one. Let's one, two. All right. Welcome, everybody, one and all, to the fifth special episode. Well, the others weren't special, but the fifth episode of Badir and Dez Have No Money. I'm not Badir. And I'm not Dez. And today we have a third person who is also not Badir or Dez with us. It's a... Mark, Mark Salerno. Salerno, everybody. Hey. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, former uh, local news host, as yeah. I understand. Yeah. Former yeah. CBS sports employee. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, now English teacher extraordinaire. Yes, yeah, man of many hats, although I only have. You only have the literally, one hat. Literally one hat. Today. So it's. That's going to play really well for the people listening and not <laughs> watching. Good podcast yes. already. Good. Yeah. Going great. We're gonna Just have a lot gags. of we're gonna have a lot of visual gags today. <laughs> Strap in, everyone. Yeah, so uh, before we get to the riveting conversation that we're gonna have about your career in the media, your very public career <laughs> that everyone knows about, um, we understand that uh, at one point there was supposed to be a number in your name. Oh, do you I, want to elaborate on that a little bit? So people think that this was a lie. And I got to start by saying my dad is a super straight-laced nerd. He's nerd, not, uh, not like a hippie? No, not nothing nothing like that. Good. Uh, and I don't he want him like that. had decided, and it was roundly rejected by my mom, who was probably having intense labor pains, right. that he wanted my name to be M-A-R, the numeral 4, right. K. But the 4 would be silent. Good. I think that's brilliant. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Roundly and uh, vehemently rejected by my mother. Do you think that's only because she was in labor? No, because it's, it's preposterous. <laughs> I mean, imagine uh, imagine being, uh, getting the school roll call. It would make the A.A. Ron bit look right. tame. The mar mar four. Mar but, but, but think about it. If you, yeah. if you, with pneumonia and silent letters, why can't you have a silent number? Um, I think that's a, more of a question for your dad. Do you think we can get him on the podcast? <laughs> uh, y yes, maybe. You think he's available? Yeah, he doesn't pick up his cell phone because he's old. Right. So it would go directly to voicemail. Yeah, old people don't really use anything. No, and he's Ever. definitely old. So as an English teacher, do you have a, a special amount of disdain for what your dad tried to do? To no, you? that's awesome. Are you kidding me? Uh, Even though like four is objectively not a letter yeah but why who cares everything <laughs> is arbitrary everything's arbitrary <laughs> yeah but who cares it's, ar it's arbitrary it's arbitrary it's like having an accent mark with the umlaut like motley crew with the double umlaut that's are you okay with that would you be upset if your dad tried to name you mark with a silent parenthetical auntly crew <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that actually, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'd be i would be more pissed that didn't happen. Yeah. Because uh, if I knew that that was on the table. Well, now that you know that it no, no, could no, have happened, are you pretty mad? Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. I you think should... it would be awesome to have, uh, yes, that's what I want. You think, we sh I think you should probably call your dad about that yeah. one. I, you know what? I'm... Just really lay into it. <laughs> yeah, like, first of all, how dare you, sir? Yeah. Uh, Without then, even, with no context. Like, Who's Motley Crue? He wouldn't know. He would have no idea. He wouldn't, he wouldn't get it. Good. I think you should at least like revitalize this as a stage name. I feel like this shouldn't be the end. Yeah, of that. if I had a stage. Motley Crew Arc. <laughs> yeah. Salerno. Salerno. No, it's all silent. It's Motley. all silent. It's, 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 it's so a parenthetical silent. Like, arc. 
Yeah. The title of the SoundCloud link is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, this is now off to be the worst podcast ever in recorded history. We're going with things that can't be said. They're parenthetical size. Exactly. Right. Uh, Most of these are visual gags and mental visualizations. Yeah. Just, just a lot. Like, yeah. This is going to this is going to redefine how to get guests on the show. <laughs> Toot sweet and a, and sponsors yeah. a go go. It's going to be a hard pitch to everyone left. You can get Lowenbrow. They're an umlaut company. Yeah. Low and brown? Yeah, that beer company, they got the little... Yeah.